Welcome to Bitfilms. I'm your host Sarthak and this video is about an amazing framework of Python which is called Streamlit. With Streamlit, you can create really amazing data app super fast without even writing any HTML, CSS or JavaScript. That's the power. Just one line of Python code can create a simple UI for you. And it's not that simple. You can also make it interactive. We are going to create something great, but let me sh tell you about the Streamlight, which is really, really fast to get a start. And it has simple functions, which you can use to create even the charting. That means data visualization with Streamlight is really amazing. And also you can create something interactive, calendars, radio buttons, line chart, file upload, and many more. We also going to deploy it on the Streamlit cloud and it's really amazingly fast, easy and absolutely free. That's the power. Okay. And you can also see how many amazing application it support like PyTorch, Matplotlib, Keras, TensorFlow, NumPy, OpenCV. Okay. That's really big list. You can also check out some of the application created by other people and that's really powerful. But what we are creating, okay? So we have deployed this on app inflation calculator.streamlit.app. It is just an inflation calculator where you can provide the initial amount, inflation rate and number of years to see the future value of your amount. So in 10 years, 10,000 will become 90,671. What if I say 30? Then if I click on calculate, you can see it's just calculating and graph is also updated. You can zoom in, zoom out this graph by your mouse and this everything we have created with Streamlit without any other thing and without writing any HTML, CSS, JavaScript. Boom! All the application code is available in this github repository so this repository is for you you can check this app.py if you stuck somewhere and follow along this video because this is really amazing for stream lit lovers and i'm really excited so let's get started to create this amazing app we first going to start by creating the python virtual environment we don't want to install things on our local and do not disturb these local thing so I will start by saying Python 3M with hyphen M, VENV and dot VENV. You can name it anything. I named it dot VENV. Now I'll just go and activate by saying source VENV bin activate. Once activated and you will see that if it is activated, then this is the name given on the VS code if the environment is activated. So it says PY and the name of your folder. So we are going to start with installing the streamlet. So install a streamlet. So this is very easy and amazing package which is going to blow your mind once you are going to start with this. So let's start by creating app.py. You can once again name it anything and simply import streamlit as streamlit sl. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you by saying hello world by just saying sl.title. And to run this, we can use streamlit run and then the file name. In our case, it's app.py. PY. Okay, let's run it and uh, it's opening on my browser with the localhost 8501 port. And you can see hello world is here. It's that simple. We have written a simple line in Python and that code is converted into HTML with nice look. You can also say streamline subheader and it's uh, like this is a subheader and you can just reload the page and see the subheader is there. There are a lot of amazing magic hidden in this streamlet. So this is a write and what that mean? So when you use write, write can do anything for you. You can actually do the markdown here. So see, this will now become bold. <laughs> this is bolder. And now if you just use single asterisk sign, it become italic like that. 
so that simple it is you have all amazing features but we are going to focus on some form related thing because we need the input of the user to create our inflation calculator now so we can start by saying hey streamlit dot form and here we need to give form a name so i'll say uh, calculator form uh, you can name it anything by the way okay and we are going to store this form in our form variable now with this form variable you can simply create any form field so i'm going to start with text input to show you how powerful this text input is so i say enter a number and reload this page you can see it says yes there is a enter a number label with the uh, you can see this input field great but it says a message missing submit button obviously whenever you create a form you need to create a submit button form dot submit uh, button something like this and you can name it something or just calculate great reload the page and yes we have the simple form so let's remove all these above things we don't want so remove this and now i say inflation calculator boom here we have the inflation calculator but when we have the inflation calculator it need three important things the current amount the rate or at which the inflation is and the final uh, years of the inflation you want to see so this means we need three input field so one is enter uh, initial amount okay then comes annual inflation rate and finally the number of years you want okay that's great but the problem here is this is normal text input if i want i can type the string also or character but i want this to be just number so i can convert these into a number input that's super duper powerful i really loving this stream late and yes you can see it's there now once again i want this inflation rate to be defaulted to something how i can do that okay so inflation rate i say uh, default is a default value i want seven let's say and reload no that's not the case so maybe i can just say value as 7.0 and uh, yes you can see it's there great now let's do the same thing with other field and i want to define that hey let's start with 10000 and number of year is 10 for now like this so all the things are i can zoom it for you all the things are already filled to just demonstrate okay everything is good but how do i implement the real logic if i click on this calculate button i want to do something no worries because we have the streamlit form and on the form submit we can do something now we can handle this submit form by capturing the submit form button or form submit button so when we click on this calculate this will going to give the event as submit and now if i check that if there is something in the submit then just print calculating okay let's see reload this page click on this and yes it says calculating now what next we just need to create a function which is really going to calculate the inflation okay so create and calculate inflation and we are going to get all these things but instead of taking the example from the github copilot i'm going to use this formula okay so this is done and now instead of this calculating we really want to calculate the amount so how do we capture the value of each input field just like the form we can capture the input field directly and we say initial amount then 
um, inflation rate and here is uh, years okay we have everything and now we can go and say future value is equal to calculate inflation and provide all these things initial amount inflation rate and year and finally instead of this we can simply say that hey future value is the future value click on calculate and future value is something like this we need to round it off but for now it's okay okay great let's try with some different value so let's say 15 year so in 15 year it will become 27,590 okay that's fine that's really amazing we have created this inflation calculator within few minutes but it would be great if we can show everything in a chart so how do we do that so streamlit provide the chart for us so streamlit chart so if you search for it you will find different kind of charts here and we are going to use the line chart so let's see how we can use this line chart so first of all we just need to say streamlit dot line chart and then provide two values initial amount and the future amount let's see how this will look so if i click on calculate yes it's created but obviously this graph is not useful the graph will be useful if we can provide the inflation from year zero to year given so if 10 years so we should provide the 10 years here and the value for each year the inflation rate the amount for each year okay how do we do that first of all we need to calculate number of years as a range so what we are going to do we say year range year range is equal to starting from zero till years plus one this will give you the range and it's really useful for this line chart and then each years value for the inflation so i'll say values or maybe what we it says yeah future values okay so it says calculate inflation rate for every years in year range so we have different years and for each year we are calculating the inflation rate and this finally we are storing in an array okay once we have everything then we should provide it for the line chart is it that simple uh, looks like but see this is really really not that simple okay so i'll say years range and future values hmm, let's see okay it's looking something crazy so basically what happened is we need to provide the parameter as pandas data frame that would be really powerful thing okay so in that case we need to install the pandas so we say pip install pandas and once this is done start the streamlit okay and then here i'll say first of all import pandas pandas as pd which is the normal thing and then i'll say pd dot data frame and we are defining the data frame as something like this years is the year range future value is the future values we have and then inside this we provide this as the data so we call it data and then we say data but we need to provide the index also so then say set index as year and finally once everything is done then we can see that this graph is really amazing what if i provide for 30 year great so this is how we create the inflation rate with streamlit within few minutes we have completed everything with the charting and that's really powerful and now let's deploy this to streamlit cloud for free yes so let's go to the streamlit.io the website click on sign in opening the new tab and uh, if you don't have the account you can create the account it's very very simple and once you are logged in or sign in then you will see the first workspace you already have okay so this will obviously say create new app or if you go on your workspace it says on the setting or maybe just click on connect 
github account so simply we need to connect to the github account but before that we need to create a new github repository for our project so i'll go on bitfumes and say um, the new repository on the bitfumes and say streamlit inflation calculator and this is going to be the public one and choose it like this and now let's go to the vs code create a dot git ignore file and we say dot v e n v has to be ignored e e n v like this and that's good that's really nice and say git init starting from git init like this okay and uh, we can actually do all that thing right here cool so it has pushed to our git repository which is here and now let's go to the streamlit share streamlit click on connect to github and finally we are redirected back now you can see it's asking do you already have the app or you want to create so yes i already have the app so i'll just say master and uh, this is app.py and uh, repository is uh, streamlit so it should be there but it's not showing so i can just copy and paste like this and it says uh, main branch and now file does not exist it says but we already have the file okay so we have we haven't done that <laughs> we have not uh, committed so commit oops first commit for stream lit okay so now we pushed it great so we are on now on our github repository and this should now check for the application and app url will be like this and i say hey what if i remove something like this app implementation calculator and click on the deploy and this will going to work absolutely fine okay so this is great and you can see now our app is here working directly from our app inflation calculator dot streamlit dot app so powerful is this streamlit is so if you like this video just go and subscribe to this channel hit that subscribe button and also hit the like button so that i will get the motivation to create more videos just like this if you have any question related to streamlit let me know in the comment section and if you have any suggestion so that i can create video on that topic yes you can obviously suggest me and i will surely going to follow you and also if you have anything else to say you can email me and we will meet in the next video till then goodbye